नमस्कार सलाम याली मदद सत्याकाल वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू कैलगरी आप सबका स्वागत है हमारे प्रोग्राम आपकी आवाज में ये प्रोग्राम आप देखते हैं हमारे अपने फेवरेट टीवी चैनल पंजाबी नेशनल पर मैं आपका होस्ट आपका दोस्त अमृत बराड़ आपका सबका स्वागत करता हूं अपने इस प्रोग्राम में और आशा करता हूं कि आपका लास्ट वीक बढ़िया गया होगा खुशियों से भरा गया होगा सेहत से भरा गया होगा और आने वाले वीक के लिए भी हमारी सबकी तरफ से आपके लिए यही शुभकामनाएं कुछ दिन पहले कुछ मंथ्स पहले एक अनाउंसमेंट की गई थी हमारे अल्बर्टा गवर्नमेंट की तरफ से कि अल्बर्टा में डेढ़ सौ डॉलर का एक रिबेट दिया जाएगा इलेक्ट्रिसिटी बिल्स के ऊपर लेकिन कुछ दिन पहले एक न्यूज ये आई कि मैसेजेस आने लगे कुछ लोगों को राधा बहुत सारे लोगों को और उसमें बताया जा रहा था कि आपको एक लिंक पे क्लिक करना पड़ेगा और उसके बाद ही आप इस रिबेट को ले पाएंगे जब ये बात वायरल हुई तो सवाल पूछे गए और फिर गवर्नमेंट की तरफ से ये बताया गया कि ये एक स्कैम है और आप इससे बच के रहें आज हमारे साथ ऑनरेबल मिनिस्टर ऑफ नेचुरल गैस एंड इलेक्ट्रिसिटी मिस्टर डेल नैली हैं आइए उनसे बात करते हैं और जानते हैं कि ये सब क्या हुआ और कैसे इसका पर्दाफाश हुआ और इसके पीछे क्या रीजन हो सकता है आइए मिलकर स्वागत करते हैं हमारे अपने डेल नैली जी का सर वेलकम टू द शो थैंक यू फॉर योर टाइम टूडे Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be here, sir. As I was uh, just talking to our listeners and viewers, that there was an announcement announcement made in April, uh, March, I believe, yeah. where it was said that uh, Alberta to reduce gas tax, offering dollar one fifty rebate on electricity bill. So there was a process which was uh, which was explained by you in our last program when we spoke to each other, and it was said that. you know coming times uh, the albertans will get 50 dollars a month that's what i understood in their electricity bill as a rebate so that you know the uh, so that they can get something at least uh, in comparison to the uh, higher rates of electricity which are going up and uh, people were struggling so now there was a big messages uh, rather uh, started coming to people's uh, people's phone or you know whatever devices they have that you have to click on a link to get that rebate so people were confused and started asking questions and then there was a statement made by the government from your office that you know it is just a scam so don't get into that so can you put a little bit light on that what exactly happened and what could be the reason for this kind of scams where people get into it and then they might get into a lot of trouble right yeah absolutely and i i think that um you know what we're seeing is uh, there's some uh, undesirable people that uh, that uh, uh some some villains essentially and and let me be clear they are attracted to government programs like moths to a light and they saw an opportunity to take advantage of Albertans and we're very disappointed we're very frustrated by this and so i appreciate you having me on the air and helping us to get this message out that we have a $150 rebate that will be going out to Albertans it will hit their bills in july it'll be $50 in july 50 in august 50 in september and i and i want to be very clear that that um Albertans don't need to do anything to receive this rebate. There's no forms to fill out. There's no links to click on email or text messages. Uh they will simply be credited on their bill automatically. And and so if you receive a text message, if you receive an email to that effect, it is it is a scam, a phishing email and they're after your personal data. So please um know that all you there, there's nothing that you have to do to receive this rebate. It will automatically be credited to your bill. that's amazing sir and again to clarify because people were getting confused that yeah. you know they have to click on the link and then they have to fill up their information maybe the addresses and the uh, you know their uh, personal information and you are absolutely right because uh, you know if the people start collecting this personal information maybe it was asking for their bank account right so it will go into the wrong hands and that will create more problems for those people yeah. and as you know there has been scammers since long time you know they were asking for uh, you know calling from cra or from any other agencies yeah. and taking people's lot hard earned money uh, from their bank accounts so yeah. we don't want this to happen again that's why we requested that you know you can come on with us and you know tell the people right you know uh, from there from your desk that that is not the real case and the other stuff is that the government is not behind that particular yep. messages right yeah that's right Go- government will not send you text messages like that uh, in the case of this rebate it will automatically be credited to your bills and you know it's and it's important to look where this came from i mean we we generated this program 
that we saw because we saw that Albertans were struggling right now with high utility uh, bills, and we wanted to uh, to help Albertans out and and uh, to see uh, these bad uh, characters that are uh, acting like this and, and and exploiting this is is of course extremely frustrating and, and disappointing. And and so, like I said, just want everyone on your show to know that uh, we will not contact you via text. You don't have to click any links at all. Uh, if you receive a utility bill, you will automatically be credited with the rebate beginning in July. Amazing, sir. Sir, just one question over here. According to your information, like or, or your office, what is the way the government tries to contract the people? Like, will they uh, give out press releases or they will go through the uh, emails or uh, text messages? Or what is the exact way where the government uh, you know, plans to go and uh, get in touch with the Calgarians and send their messages. Well, we have different um, different communication vehicles that we use, uh, and and quite often, I mean, there's there's you know, uh, uh, there's digital IDs and stuff like that. But uh, you know, in in cases like this, we do not send out blanket text messages. We we would actually reach out to uh, to shows like yours, and we would leverage the media. And we would do some form of a media availability in the form of a press release. We would come on shows like yours. And so we'd really leverage uh, the media in addition to social media as well. And, and so um, you can certainly go to uh, social media for any MLA or minister. And, and lastly, you can go to our website, alberta.ca. That is a great place to get your government information. And, and we will utilize an official channel like that. We will not send you a random text message or a random email. So... Honorable Minister, uh, I was talking to uh, one of our ministers from the uh, from the UCP government, and she's working on the reduction of red tape. Yes, I would like to uh, you know bring up one question. It's very hard for a common man to get contacted to the you know like like you are very busy. So if somebody wants to speak to you, or somebody wants to talk to you, right? Yeah. What is yeah. the best channel? You know, so that, you know, that red tape is uh, reduced and people can get to you. I know it won't be at the uh, same time because you have your own schedule and you can definitely take out time to meet those people. But what is the best way to contact the particular uh, minister or the uh, your office? Well, that's a great question. And if you go to alberta.ca, the contact information for all the ministers is on that website. For media outlets like yours, um, the uh, the communications uh, uh, contact info for all of our press secretaries is there as well. And so that is the best place to to reach out to us is is, is go to alberta.ca and and get our contact information. And because uh, we want to be as available as we can. And, and yes, we are busy, but uh, you know our first job is to represent Albertans, and that means being available to them. Honorable Minister, why I ask this question? Because people get. Uh, you know, tangle between these messages and people, uh, you know, saying a lot of, you know, negative stuff. So I always encourage people not to believe anybody. We have the information about how to contact the concerned person. Let's reach out to that person through the proper channels and try to find out the truth instead of saying bad things, instead of saying negative things, instead of you know, uh, doing a false propaganda. The best thing is to contact the concerned office and try to take out the correct information, sir. What do you say? That you're absolutely correct. Is go to the source directly, and so you have two options. One, of course, you can contact the ministry. Uh, the second option is you can go directly to your MLA. I okay. have constituents of mine, and I represent them. They reach out to me, and and they ask me some tough questions on on matters that uh, I'm not an expert on. But I'll take those questions away. And I'll, and I'll go ask uh, someone from the health ministry or the education ministry. So, um, you know, if you don't want to reach out to the ministry directly, certainly you can reach out to your MLA and they could uh, ask the question on your behalf. Definitely, sir. And what will be your recommendation in case, you know, people get this uh, kind of fraud messages? They should definitely contact the police or uh, your anti-fraud centers, right? Ab- absolutely. Uh, wh- whatever you do, do not click on that link. And uh, and and do not forward it, uh, delete it. Uh, um, would be the, would be the best course of action. Yeah. Great, sir. And in coming times, are we seeing any more reductions or <laughs> electricity or any more such uh, you know things coming to the Calgarians? Yeah. Because things are getting tough. Inflation is going high, and people yeah. are really struggling, sir. 
You're absolutely correct. Uh, the number one issue on uh, Albertans' minds is cost of living. And, and so I, I will say this. The electricity rebate that we are doing, that has a cost of $300 million. Right. Uh, and then we're doing a gas rebate in the fall, and we're forecasting the gas rebate, the natural gas rebate for your right. heating. We, we're estimating that's going to be a $500 million rebate. Wow. Now, we've also taken 13 cents a liter off the gas. We removed yes. the gas tax. And, uh, uh, and so the, the cost of that one is $1.3 billion if that's in place for a year. $1.3 billion. So we've already provided $2 billion worth of supports. However, I, I would say that, that uh, our job, first and foremost, is to take care of Albertans. We will continue to monitor things on the ground, and we will continue to do what we can to, to bring, uh, bring supports and, uh, and, and the like to Albertans. And so if more is required, then, then um, you know, we, would, we would certainly not be afraid to step forward. Definitely, sir. And the, uh, the gas rebate, what you are saying in the, in the winters, Will it yeah. be again? Uh, you will be go doing some kind of uh, you know announcements, or now that is made and it will be it follows with the the announcement which was made earlier, sir. Yeah, we're we're developing all that right now, and and so here here's what we do know. We we know the purpose of the natural gas rebate is to protect Albertans from a European style energy crisis because they are paying through the teeth right now in Europe and in Asia for their natural gas, their liquid natural gas. And we want to protect and shield Albertans from that because remember, Albertans own the resource. So they should benefit from that. So we have said that we will draw a line in the sand and say that uh, we will absorb everything above 650 because we get enough royalties from our natural gas, from exporting it and the like, that we can support Albertans by covering the cost above 650. And that's what we're going to do. We, uh, we are still working out the details and we will announce that to the media once it's done. But here's what I can tell your listeners. We will not send you a text. There'll be, there'll be no links to click. So, yeah. <laughs> well said, sir. And I'm very sure that people who will be listening to this program, they will think twice before, uh, you know, uh, clicking on some text. It will be yeah. best to reach out to the source and try okay. out uh, to get the maximum information and then fall into such kind of scams. And I would just uh, repeat that, sir, from the July September, July to September, there'll be $50, uh, which will be automatically reduced in the That's electricity right. bill for each of buttons. And that will continue July, August, September, 2022. Absolutely. That is correct. And then the natural gas rebate will begin in October. Perfect, sir. So we will wait for that announcement also. And we are always there for you, sir, to bring out the correct information to the uh, to the Calgarians and all over Albertans. Thank you so much for your time today, sir. And we will reach out to you again uh, when the things are uh, coming up for uh, the other announcement, sir. Wonderful. I'm, uh, I'm always happy to come on to your show. So thank you so much. Appreciate thank it. Thank you so much, sir. You have a good day, sir. Okay. Bye-bye. Take care, sir. So this was Honorable Minister Dale Nelly. As he told that ऐसा कोई भी मैसेज गवर्नमेंट की तरफ से नहीं भेजा गया था जिसकी वजह से आपको यह लगे कि इस पर्टिकुलर लिंक पे आप क्लिक करेंगे तभी आपको रिबेट मिलेगा आई नो 50 डॉलर एक बहुत बड़ा अमाउंट नहीं है लेकिन फिर भी एटलीस्ट कुछ तो हमारे को रिबेट मिल रही है जो मिल जाए वही अच्छा है गवर्नमेंट से हम लोग जो हमारी गवर्नमेंट से हम यही भगवान से प्रार्थना करते हैं कि भाई वो जो हमारी जनता है उसके हित में ही काम करें सो आई होप कि एटलीस्ट 50 डॉलर जो हमारे को रिबेट मिलेगा वो कहीं ना कहीं हमारे को फायदा ही देगा कुछ जा नहीं रहा है कुछ आ ही रहा है हमारे बिल में रिड्यूस होकर तो प्लीज ऐसे स्कैम से बचें और अपने आप को प्रोटेक्ट करें अभी कुछ साल पहले बहुत बड़ा स्कैम जो हुआ और अदर अभी भी चल रहा है कि सीआरए से लोग फोन करते हैं और ये बोलते हैं कि जी हम सीआरए से बोल रहे हैं और अपने आप आपका जो टैक्स है आपने नहीं भरा है या आप किसी मुसीबत में हैं तो आप इस लिंक पे क्लिक करें और इतने पैसे भेजें और बहुत सारे स्पेशली बुजुर्गों ने अपना पैसा गवाया कई मिलियन डॉलर्स मेरे हिसाब से उसमें गया वर्ल्ड वाइड लोगों ने अपना पैसा गवाया है तो प्लीज़ आप ऐसे स्कैम से बचें और अपनी जो पर्सनल इन्फॉर्मेशन है वो ऐसे ही किसी को ना दें लोग फ़ायदा उठाते हैं जो भी स्कैमर्स हैं वो कहीं ना कहीं बैठ के ये अपने अक्ल के घोड़े दौड़ाते हैं कि किस तरह से एक इंसान को बेवकूफ़ बनाया जाए और अगर हम उनके ट्रैप में फंस जाते हैं तो डेफिनेटली काफ़ी नुकसान हमारे को हो सकता है सो so, प्लीज़ आप अपने बिल को ध्यान रखें जुलाई अगस्त सितंबर में 50 डॉलर का रिबेट आने वाला है और अगर आपको ऐसा कोई 
मैसेज आता है तो आप कॉन्टैक्ट कर सकते हैं कैनेडियन एंटी फ्रॉड सेंटर में जिनका नंबर है वन अगेन वन या आप इसको पुलिस में 911 पे कॉल करके या जो उनका नॉन इमरजेंसी नंबर है वहां पर आप इसको अपनी जो शिकायत है वो दर्ज जरूर कराएं बिकॉज अगेन ये आपका अपने जो पर्सनल इंफॉर्मेशन है उसकी प्रोटेक्शन के लिए थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वाचिंग टुडे शो और हर टीवी शो का मतलब जैसे मैं कहता हूँ सिर्फ ब्रेकिंग न्यूज नहीं बहस नहीं हंगामा नहीं तमाशा या तमाशा नहीं ये टीवी शो है आपकी आवाज का आपके मुद्दे का आपके जज्बात के साथ साथ आपके भरोसे का क्योंकि आपका भरोसा हमारी जिम्मेदारी है उम्मीद आपकी कोशिश हमारी है थैंक यू